If that guy was two feet over, he would have been dead. That's crazy. <laughs> What's going on guys, Infinite List here, back with another video, now today we are going to be looking at people who got really lucky, like really close calls. Guys, if you did not know, we have 5 milli hoodies in the store, and also we have a youth version as well. So if you're a kid, you gotta click that first link in the description, alright, because these hoodies are so sick, guys, definitely cop them. They're going to be gone very soon, so get them while you can. Guys, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, road to 6 million, hit that subscribe, and then also hit that that notification bell you gotta hit the bell or you're not gonna get my videos that's just how youtube works so hit that bell guys but uh yeah let's just get right into the video what is this apparently this guy left his soda in his car and i'm guessing it was really hot and the, this is what the soda looked like dude i'm guessing this soda was about to explode everywhere all over your car and he pulled it out just in time your car would have smelled like diet coke forever this is why you don't drink soda if you drink water it comes out of most things it's just a water stain water just goes away so guys to to fix this problem, uh, just drink water. Okay, so this guy left his camera on his truck, drove around for about 20 minutes, and his camera was still there. How lucky can you get? How is your camera still there? And by the way, cameras are very expensive. This is probably like a thousand dollar camera. It looks pretty nice. So that would have been like a thousand dollars down the drain, but luckily his camera is still there. I have no idea. That's actually kind of mind blowing. Like, how did it not fall? The other day, I literally saw someone get into their car, put their coffee on top of their car and then they got distracted and forgot about their coffee and i was about to say something to them but they drove off and the coffee spilled everywhere still don't get how the camera didn't fall oh um, how how do you get this lucky okay there is no way in a million years i would get this lucky do you guys see the ring right there how did it stay there what no that is ridiculous there's no way you dropped your ring and it landed like that one in a billion chance look at all the holes it could have fell in could have fallen in anything dude and rings are freaking expensive expensive too that one's probably pretty expensive so you're lucky dude oh my god this guy had a chainsaw accident accidentally cut his leg but luckily his phone was there dude and it protected his leg you could have had a big freaking gash in your leg but uh thank god for your htc phone i always leave my phone in my right pocket so if i ever somehow get in a chainsaw accident i really hope it's my right leg that i cut all right not my left I really hope iphones are strong enough i don't got an htc see but uh hopefully i just won't get in any chainsaw accidents whoa oh my you were so lucky the freaking boulder missed your house completely how do you get that lucky it's just a random boulder that is really scary that that e that can even happen just imagine you're just chilling in your house reading a book and then a freaking boulder just goes straight through your house like bro these people are so lucky it's like something you'd see in like a movie like indiana jones or something <sighs> This guy, the freaking nail just missed your foot. If you would have been walking at a different angle, it would have gone through your foot. Oh, I really, really, really hate if anyone steps on a nail. That has got to be the worst pain ever, dude. Just imagine you're just walking around and you step on a nail. No, thank you, dude. Ow. You got lucky, all right? Ah. Uh this guy had a close call for sure. He probably took a poo and then realized, oh, there's no toilet paper. But luckily, the guy on the other side had some. See, this is why I uh, always check for toilet paper before I commit, you know? Because if you commit and then you're like, oh, wait, there's no toilet paper, then you already committed, so you're done for, dude. You're just gonna have to use your pants Ugh. but luckily this guy made a friend in the bathroom so that's good <laughs> this guy accidentally fired two nails from a nail gun into his knee and it missed everything it literally missed all the bones it went straight in between. how do you get that lucky bro two two bro not one one would have been lucky but two <laughs> so lucky this would hurt a lot like a lot a super lot but hitting your bone would hurt so much more you got freaking lucky all right dude Dude, that's insane. Oh, oh, you almost got a dart to the toe. If you're handling anything that's sharp, I just wouldn't wear flip-flops. I would probably just wear shoes or like boots or something. Just in case something like that happens where you drop a dart on your toe almost. You're freaking lucky, dude. It's literally like touching his toe. You cannot get any more lucky than this. You are freaking... Oh. Alright, so this guy got a fortune cookie that says you will have bad luck 
for all eternity. Oh my, that is terrible. I'm sorry, man, but you were definitely going to have bad. Oh, oh, there's another one. Ignore previous cookie. Oh, oh, okay. Well, then he's, he's Gucci. <laughs> Just imagine getting that first one. You'd be like, oh, what? But no, are you serious? I would cry if I got that. I would like check my YouTube channel right after that and see it's terminated or something. Almost set my cat on fire. Wow. Cat, what are you freaking doing on the stove? Are you dumb? Cat, stop being an idiot. Come on. You can barely even see that cat. It blends in so well. Freaking crazy, dude. Is that comfortable? Like, how is that comfortable? Stop sitting on an oven. I feel like the cat wants to die. Like, come on. The cat should know that you shouldn't sleep there. Oh, oh my. Okay. Uh, okay, I've actually done this, but it actually hit my foot and it was terrible So this girl got really lucky. Obviously, this is what happened to me So I was just doing dishes one day casually and uh, I had a knife and I was trying to put it in the dishwasher But I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna throw it in the dishwasher So I threw the knife try to make it into the little holder for like the silverware and it bounced off and stabbed me in the foot And uh, yeah, that hurt a lot guys. Don't throw knives. Don't be an idiot like me <laughs> I don't know what this girl was doing but she got very lucky all right because that freaking hurt the knife bounced off and went straight at my foot dude ow my great grandfather was shot in the chest by a german soldier during world war one luckily the coins in his breast pocket absorbed the bullet and saved his life oh my that is insane look at the freaking coins dude the bullet stopped oh that is crazy you are so lucky imagine if he spent four of those coins that day he would have gotten shot good thing you didn't spend your money that day he had it in his, his pocket like right here too. No one puts anything in their pockets on their chest like chest pockets I don't ever put anything in there. So this guy just happened to put coins there and he got saved Bruh, you were so lucky a shark bit her, but she wasn't tasty enough What some researchers believe that in the initial bite a shark can detect the ratio of fat to bone or muscle And whether its mouthful is worth eating or not What? You are so lucky that you do not have a lot of fat on your bones because you would have been done so. Look at that bite. Oh, so the shark just went Bleep, and then was like, oh, you're not tasty. Uh, I want a tasty snack, not you. You're disgusting and filthy. So I'm just going to let go now. You got a shark bite. Like, that's so crazy. Oh, that would be so terrifying. If you were fat, you'd be dead. So uh, life lesson, eat healthy, work out, and uh, you won't get eaten by sharks. Okay. Uh, wow. Wow. Well, this, uh, this guy got a little bit lucky there. He, I don't even know how that truck is bending like that, but he probably was terrified when the truck stopped right there and he was like two inches from the ground. Come on, what were you doing? Were you texting and driving? Were you watching my videos and driving? Wow. Come on, you can't wait. I know they're really good, but like, ugh. Oh my god, this would be terrifying, dude. Just imagine looking over and then it's like a 90 foot drop. Like, no. Stop watching my videos and driving. Seriously. Seriously, what are these people doing? Wait until you get home. Like, bruh. So this person took a picture at the exact moment when their dad was saving this kid. So you can see in the bottom picture, he's literally falling off this giant rock, but the dad saved him somehow. And they got a picture of it. How lucky can you be, dude? That would have hurt a lot. That's a big rock. And falling off that into more rocks, uh, owie. Oh my, dad of the year. Dad of the year right here. Look at this guy, dude. So in baseball, the guy was probably just swinging and then he accidentally threw his bat and it almost hit that kid in the face. But the dad blocked it. Dad of the year right there, dude. That would have hurt. Look at everyone around them. That girl right there is prepared. She's like, try to like block it like she saw it was coming. Same with that guy. Same with that guy. Like they're all trying to stop it. And then the kid was on his phone watching my videos probably. <laughs> Make sure you drop a like next time because if you would dropped a like the bat wouldn't even have gotten flung at you because dropping a like just just is good for everyone so make sure to drop a like next time oh my you are so lucky dude you almost brushed your teeth with the disgusting earwig in your freaking toothbrush Ugh. that would have been disgusting just imagine just it, you feel crawling in your mouth ew ew nope no you got so lucky dude earwigs Ugh. so this guy found the edge of a knife blade blade like it chipped off into his frozen fruit that he cut up the other night and he forgot that he broke his knife into his fruit and then he just found it but just imagine you're eating your fruit and then you bite down and uh, broken tooth for sure owie owie literally eating a knife that's oh god that would hurt so bad you almost had poo 
all over your phone. You got just so lucky, literally a centimeter away, and there would have been poo on your phone. For all you dog owners out there, pick up your dog's poop. Because uh, this guy almost had your dog's poo all over his phone. So pick up your dog's poop, because I drop my phone sometimes, and I don't want this to happen, all right? That would be terrible. And especially when you step on dog poop, dude, that's the worst. Clean up after your dog. This kid almost put bleach all over his cereal. <laughs> it looks like milk. It's got like a little weird yellow tint, but uh, it looks definitely looks like milk because the mom thought it was a good idea to put bleach in their old milk jug. Probably wouldn't do that. Or little Timmy is going to have a problem in the morning drinking bleach cereal. So uh, don't do that next time. Guys, that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. You're the freaking best. Don't forget to, don't forget, don't forget to kick, don't forget to click that first link in the description. I also got these hoodies, Infinite Army, it's lit with the chitties. We got so many sick designs. Check it out. First link in the description, it's lit. But uh, yeah, guys, I will see you guys all tomorrow. Peace.